Clarence, are you there? Is everything okay over there? I just noticed that you haven't sent me my money this month, and I was wondering if you could hurry up and do that. I don't know how much longer you're going to keep me waiting. I'm really sorry, but I can't send you the money right now, Mom. I still haven't gotten paid this month, so I just don't have the funds to be able to. What are you talking about? It's almost the end of the month. We're on the 25th right now, and you usually get paid on the 23rd. Well, sometimes the days that I get paid change with the weekends or holidays that are at a certain month. So I don't think that I'm going to get paid until later this week, unfortunately. That's ridiculous. This, who ever heard of a job doing that to their own employees? I hope you're not trying to back out of our deal, Clarence. You know that you have to send me $2,000 a month as part of your punishment. But Mom, I can't afford to send you that much money every month. By the time I pay, I hardly have enough for myself. And besides, it's not like I didn't tell you already that there were going to be days when I might get paid later or earlier. Please, Mom, can't you just stop this already? I mean, you can't keep blaming me for what happened. And just what is that supposed to mean? Are you seriously trying to complain to me about this right now? I'm not complaining about anything. I'm just asking you to stop, Mom. Stop what, huh? If you have something to say, then come out and say it. Or did you forget just who it was who raised you? I know that you raised me, Mom. I'm not trying to be ungrateful or anything like that. If you really understand, then stop complaining about what I tell you and just say okay. And give me my $2,000 already. But I don't get why I'm the only one who had to pay you. I mean, why don't you ask him to pay you anything? She's your daughter, isn't she? Unlike you, that girl has her life put together. She doesn't even live at home anymore. Meanwhile, you're still here leeching off me like you're a child. So I don't get why you're complaining when you live here and all I'm asking you to do is pay your fair share of rent and utilities. I thought you were a man, so quit acting like a big baby. I'm sorry, but just what does me being a man have to do with any of this? Well, you're a man, so you should be fine going out and working, coming home and giving your wife your salary. That's how it's going to work when you finally find someone and get married. I know that that was the setup that you and Dad had throughout your marriage. But look what happened to him, Mom. He worked so hard that he had a heart attack in the office and died. I know. Can you believe what a weakling he was? A real man wouldn't just fold under a little bit of pressure like that. Besides, he hardly even made enough money for us. So I can't say that it was too great of a loss. Mom, how can you say that about your own husband? That's my father that you're talking about. And now that you're grown up, you really are just like him. And by that, I mean that you're both ugly little whiners. I wish that I married a real man's man. Then I wouldn't have to be dealing with all this sniveling in my life. Well, I'm glad that I'm like Dad. I loved him and he was a good man. <laughs> well, then I guess the pathetic apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Thank goodness I have at least someone I can count on in my life with Kim. And you really need to open your eyes and face the truth that I'm really not that bad. If I was such an awful mother... Then why am I letting you stay in this house with me, huh? I would say it's quite benevolent of me. Benevolent? Are you kidding me with that? You really are just a useless dolt, aren't you? Why couldn't you be more like your sister? I'll just never understand where I went wrong with you. We may have the same genes, but I still wonder just how I ended up with you for a son. Well, speaking of Kim, I heard that she's gotten engaged now, is that right? Oh, did you hear about that? Yeah, she sent me a message about it last night, actually. She wanted to brag about how much better her life was going than mine was, actually. Well, understand why I should want to brag about something so wonderful. I mean, you would want to brag, too, if you had a husband like that, don't you think? Oh, I know all about her fiancé, thank you very much. He was actually an old classmate of mine in college. Oh, really? Is that so? I actually had no idea about that. Well, I'm not sure if he knows who I am, but I certainly know who he is. He was a bit of a rising star in my department. I knew that he was a brilliant man, but it's good to know that he's always been so smart ever since he was a young man. And now he's working for a huge company and engaged to marry my daughter. Everything is falling into place. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder about that. But I guess I just wouldn't be able to say much about these kinds of things anyway. 
That's right, you would have no idea about any of this. You've never brought a girl back home for me to meet in your entire life. Of course, it would be hard to imagine a girl that would want to date a loser like you anyway. You know that I do have a girlfriend, right? <laughs> what? You have a girlfriend? You must think I'm an idiot if you're going to try to sell me a lie like that. It's not a lie, Mom. I really do have a girlfriend. Okay, then who is she? Where did you even meet this girlfriend of yours? She's a woman from my work, and we've been going out for the past six months or so, if you must know. Well, she must be a really weird lady to want to go out with someone like you. But maybe that's where all that money you should have been paying me has been going. She's probably just with you because you've been paying for everything, huh? Actually, that's not what we've been doing at all. We've been splitting all the bills that we have between ourselves while we've been dating. Oh, really? Well, in that case, why not think about marrying this girl? If she's really the kind of girl to pull her own weight, then I wouldn't object to it. You could invite her to come and live with us. And then I'd have a little servant girl that I could order around however I wanted to. I don't think that we're going to get married, Mom. I would never want to expose her to how horrible it would be living with you. So you're just not going to get married for your entire life? Is that what you're telling me right now? You can't really mean that, right? Don't you see how happy your sister is now that she's about to get married? Clarence, you've been coming home far too late these days. What in the world could be taking you so long, huh? What could you possibly be doing that's keeping you out? Well, I was at a conference for work all day, and now I'm out grabbing drinks with some people from the office. But I'll still be able to catch the last subway home, so I'll just be a little later. I don't trust you. I think that something's up. You've been coming home later, and you're hardly ever home on your days off, too. What are you up to, huh? I'm sorry, Mom. I'm just really busy with work and have things to do. No, that can't be it. You're out running around with that little girlfriend of yours, aren't you? You get your first girlfriend, and suddenly you think you don't need to care at all about being at home with your mother. I don't really see what the big deal is, Mom. I mean, I don't remember you ever giving me a curfew or anything like that. Since when do I have to be home at a certain time? You don't have a curfew because I didn't think that you would need one. But now I'm telling you that I want you home right now, and you're acting like you're not going to listen to me. I'm not listening because I'm an adult, and if I want to go home late, I have that right. You wouldn't be saying this if I was working late and not home yet. You really have some nerve, do you know that? Just who do you think you are talking to your mother like this, you little brat? As a punishment for your sass, I demand that you come home by seven every night. At seven? Are you kidding me? Are you seriously trying to give me a curfew? At my age? I'm not some little kid anymore, Mom. I'm an adult, and I am not going to go along with that. You don't get to disagree with me, Clarence. I am your mother, and you will do as I say. Do you understand me? Oh, just give me a break already, Mom. I may be your son, but you do not control my life, and I am my own person. What did you just say to me? I mean that ever since I was little, you have always been trying to control my life and what I do. All I wanted was the freedom to live my own life, and now I have reached the limits of my patience. I am not going to do what you tell me, Mom. How dare you talk to your mother like this? You are not going to get away with this, you little brat. You need to learn some respect, young man. Respect? Mom, I have been so patient with you that I might as well be a saint. You and Kim have both done nothing but put me down. Well, now I don't want anything to do with either of you. Got it? Oh, give me a break. You don't really mean that, Clarence. I do. And I am not going to be following any sort of ridiculous curfew. I pay to live here, so I will do what I want, and you don't get to tell me how to live my life. Clarence, I have made a decision and I want you out of the house. You have until tomorrow to pack up your things and get out. I don't care where you go, but you will not stay here any longer. What are you talking about? You're seriously going to kick me out of the house. That's right. You are going to leave and Kim and her husband are going to move in. I don't need you in my life either. Wait, what? 
Kim and her husband are going to come in and live with you instead? But I thought that they were living with her husband's family at their house. That's right. But Kim's husband's sister is also going to be moving in, and the house is going to get quite cramped with her. Besides, your sister just had her kid and they need the space for their growing family. I know that we're in a bit of a rural area, but I think that living here is going to give them the space that they need. It will really help them with raising their kid. And so that's why you're just going to kick me out of the house. I, I don't get it. I've been paying to live here this whole time and you're just going to kick me out with a day's notice to leave. Oh, what on earth are you talking about? You're only living here because I've been allowing you to live here. And now your sister and her family really need to be living in a house like this. And don't you start with me about the money that you send. You don't even give me that much anyways, so I don't want to hear about it from you. Are you kidding me with that? I literally give you more than half of every single one of my paychecks. How can you say that's not a lot? It's not a lot because it's what you should be giving to me as your mother anyways. Consider it a way of paying me back for all the time I sunk into raising you. You're seriously going to be charging your own children for raising them. I'm not an investment, Mom. You can't just start demanding returns on the effort you sunk into me. Maybe not if you're going to be like this. But all that says is that you're a terrible son. Which is all the more reason for your sister's family to come and take your place. Alright, fine, whatever. I just hope you don't regret this, Mom. You think that I'm going to regret kicking you out? You have no idea what you're talking about. Getting rid of you is going to be a blessing. I never want to hear from you ever again. You are no son of mine. Clarence, are you there? Kim and I, all of us here, we need your help. What kind of creepy message is that to send so early in the morning? Anyways, I'm actually just about to head out to work, so whatever this is, make it quick, please. I am trying to ask for your help, Clarence. Don't be so rude. Besides, I don't know who else I could turn to for this. It's really serious. What is that supposed to mean? What is it, Mom? Just tell me what you want. Something just terrible has happened, and I really need your help. That's what I want. You mean that something bad is happening with Kim and her family? You're not giving me answers. That's right. So then you've already heard a little bit about what's been going on between us all. No, Mom, I literally have no clue. That is what I'm trying to ask of you right now. Not that I'd want to help you anyways. I thought that things might end up this way for you, if I'm being honest. And just what is that supposed to mean? Well, I told you that Kim's husband and I went to the same college, right? Back then, there were quite a few rumors spreading around the school about him. People were always talking about how he'd go through girlfriends so quickly after getting into some fight or acting violently towards them. Wait, what? You mean that you knew these rumors about him since college? Why didn't you tell your sister before she got married? How could you just let her walk into that situation blind? What's the matter with you? I did tell her, though. I was very honest about warning her against getting with him. But you guys said that I was just trying to ruin her marriage out of jealousy and refused to listen to me at all. But things are going really, really badly here for us. I mean, Kim's husband is just a terrible man. And I think he actually just hates women in general. You have no idea the kinds of things that Kim and I are having to go through here every single day. But she's already been married to this guy for a year. You mean to tell me that she never realized the kind of person her husband was until now? According to your sister, her husband only really changed after she had her kid. I guess he was hiding his true self from her until he had an heir. It was all to trap her into this marriage, though, and now we're both trapped in this situation. He is such a horrible man, I can't believe it. Okay, well, do you mind if I just ask what exactly he's doing that's making living with him so awful? Are you sure you're not just blowing things out of proportion? Of course I'm not! How could you even say that? You have no idea what it's like here under this horrible rule. He makes Kim and I do chores from the morning until the evening, and he never ever helps out. And he started demanding that I pay him ever since he moved here. Not only that, but even sold part of the land I owned. 
Wow, he certainly sounds like quite the piece of work, doesn't he? Honestly, that's even worse than some of the things I heard from college. It's just horrible, Clarence. And now there are going to be some cheap apartments going up, up on land that's been in our family for generations. I can't believe he did that. It's just horrible. Hmm. Well, it sounds to me like that might have been his goal in moving in with you in the first place. He probably figured that we had too much land for just you and thought he could make a quick buck selling it. But how could he do that? We had our land in our family for years and he just sold it. Not only that, but he stole my credit and debit cards and even makes me hand over my retirement money when it comes in. He takes everything for himself and leaves Kim and I with practically nothing. I see. Well, why don't you try reaching out to his family and asking for some kind of help? I have tried that, but his whole family is a bunch of freaks. And I haven't even told you the worst part. Kim's husband literally kicked Kim and I out of the house, and now his family has brought all their stuff and have moved in. They're trying to take over the house, I tell you. So then, does he have the kid, or do you have the kid? This whole thing has always been about him just getting a son. So he kicked us out, but held on to the child. Can you believe that? He even stole Kim's own son from her. Yeah, that is really sad, but I'm still not going to do anything to help you. You have to come here and help us, though. You need to kick him out of the house for us. I'm serious. Yeah, and just why would I want to do something like that again? I mean, you've already said that you never wanted to talk to me again, and I don't really feel like stepping into this. But you're the son in our family. You need to step in and protect us from these crazy people. Yeah, I just don't get why I would want to do that for you. I mean, it just doesn't seem like I have much to gain from it. To gain from it? This is your mother and sister that we're talking about here. You don't gain anything, you do it because we're family. Right, no, I get what you're saying. But you said that I'm no son of yours, though, remember? So I don't really see either of you as family that I need to protect. What is the matter with you? Where did I go so wrong in raising a son like you? Let's not forget here that you were the one that kicked me out to begin with. You're acting like I'm in the wrong, but are you going to acknowledge your own hand in this? Because it sounds to me like you landed yourself in this spot yourself. I didn't do anything at all, and it's just sad how you're trying to make yourself into the victim here. Mom, you have always tried to put me down ever since I was a little kid. You controlled my life, demanded that I pay you, and then you kicked me out when it was more convenient for you. So why in the world do you think I'm going to turn around and help you now that you're asking for it? Please, your sister and I are really at our wit's end. We need your help here. Don't you feel bad for us? Not really now. I really don't care what happens to either of you, if I'm being honest. I probably won't even go to your funeral. We're through, Mom. So you're really just not going to do anything for us? We are begging for your help here. We need you, Clarence. Well, you should have thought about that before you kicked me out. Actually, there's a lot of things you should have done different over the years. But none of that is my problem anymore. After that, my mom continued to blow up my phone trying to beg me for help. I didn't respond to any of her texts, however, and in the end, I blocked her on every available medium. I felt like I had no choice because she just kept sending messages about how hard her life was and all the things that her and Kim were going through. Apparently, Kim was thinking of divorce, but was afraid that she would have to pay her husband alimony and lose the child in the process. Since blocking her, though, I have been thinking less and less about them. They're nobody to me now, as far as I'm concerned. I just want to concentrate on living my life for now. Your ex-husband, who's my husband now, got promoted even more. I heard the rumor. He became a professor at a university hospital two years ago, right? I thought you'd be more surprised. Whatever. It's been a while, but you're this blunt? Aren't you still upset about what happened five years ago? I'm busy. Are you done? What do you mean you're busy? You're so incompetent that you quit a simple job just to hand out medicine. You need a national license to become a pharmacist. It's not an easy job. I can handle that kind of thing. I mean, whose fault is it that I quit my job? When I told Toby that you were having an affair, 
He believed me and shared about it in the hospital, didn't he? I heard he did it to get sympathy from everyone. Because of that, people started giving me a cold look and I had to quit. I'm sorry to hear that. I never cheated on him in the first place. Why did you lie to him? It's true that you were with a guy, isn't it? I have photos to prove it. The photos you showed him are from when I was a student, right? I was walking around the town and I happened to see you walking with an old guy. So I heard you take a picture of you two. The guy I was with was a customer from my club. I was just accompanying him to dinner. You were a stripper, weren't you? Yeah, to earn money for the college tuition. Dad said he wouldn't pay a penny, so I worked hard. You weren't succeeding in your job, were you? I've been a stripper once, but I've never seen a person as ugly as you there. I don't care about that. You've made up a fake story and never apologized. How dare you? Then why don't you just explain to Toby that it was a fake story? I didn't tell him that I used to work at a stripper club. So he said he couldn't believe the information I gave him after what he has heard. He won't listen to me. Wow, he doesn't trust you at all. But fortunately, he didn't ask you to take any responsibility regarding this divorce, even though you cheated. Such a nice guy. He did tell me that he won't share the property. Oh, so he took everything? You're really miserable. Neither Toby nor my co-workers believe me. Even dad took your side. Under those circumstances, I didn't have any energy left to argue about the money. Ugly people are so sad that they can't be trusted. On the other hand, I'm beautiful, so I was able to marry Toby and live happily ever after. There's nothing more than having a good face. Can I go now? Talking to you makes me remember the past, and I feel depressed. Wait a minute. I didn't text you to talk about the past like this. I actually had something important to tell you. What is it? Did you hear that dad got sick? Five years ago, you remember what happened. Since then, we haven't been in touch, so I haven't heard anything. He has some kind of brain disease. He will need nursing care. Oh, that's why I'm asking you to take care of him. What? I have a lot of duties as a doctor's wife. I can't take care of him. You're a housewife. You don't have a job. First of all, dad loved you too much. Why don't you return the favor? That's what mom is telling me too. And I'm in trouble. She's asking me to take care of him since he treated me so well. She's demanding things that don't make sense. What's the problem? If you don't want to do it yourself, why don't you talk to Toby about it and think of hiring a caregiver or something? It's a waste of money spending on parents. Wow, you're a heartless person. So are you. When we were young, I was compared to you every day. Mom and Dad even told me that they didn't want to spend money on an ugly girl. I don't want to take care of a person like that. What? You were loved by them, and they paid for all of your tuition. They even paid your living expenses until you married Toby. They have done a lot. That's something they did on their own, right? And now you guys are asking me to return the favor? Don't you think that's a bit arrogant? Don't force me to do it. I'm busy at work. I don't have time to take care of dad anyways. You're working? You thought I've been unemployed for five years without finding a new job? Since you're incompetent, I thought you were homeless or something. No, of course not. But it doesn't sound like it's a big job. You didn't go to a college and end up getting a job, which was to do a simple task like handing out pills. I've told you many times, it's not easy. It's a job, you need knowledge. Don't show off yourself. All right, I'll leave you to take care of dad. I'm counting on you. I told you I can't. I'm Katie. I'm 34 years old and I got divorced once. My sister, Stephanie, who is four years older than me, received extravagant love from our parents. So she grew up to be selfish. She has always been a jerk and looked down on me. I hated my family and wanted to be independent as soon as possible. I spent my school days studying hard and became a qualified pharmacist. And then I got a job at a university hospital. There. I met and married my ex-husband, Toby, who is a doctor, but I made a mistake of introducing him to my parents and sister. My sister must have liked him. She wanted him to leave me. 
so she tricked him with a fake story, and as a result, we divorced. She married Toby without any shame, and I was thrown into the depths of unhappiness. Now that five years have passed, I have calmed down. My work was going well, and I had almost forgotten about my family. So I was surprised to receive a message from my sister. Although I was a little worried about my dad, I still could not forgive my family. So I refused to take care of him. But my sister would not listen to me and tried to threaten my peace in an unbelievable way. I can't believe you work for a popular cosmetics company. Well, I'm sure it's not a big job anyway. What? How did you know? I asked you to take care of dad, but I heard you haven't been home. I said no. I had no choice but to have a private investigation find out where you work. Why would you do that? I'm getting so tired of hearing from mom. If you don't go home soon, I'll be in real trouble. Then do something about it. She's asking you to do it, right? No, I can't. I won't take care of him even if you say so. I'll spread bad rumors and make you unemployed like I did before. Excuse me? Let's say the reason you got divorced is because you cheated on him. I'm sure if people at your current workplace find out, you'll have a hard time staying there. That's why you identified my workplace. If you don't want to lose your job again, you'd better listen to me. You know me well. See ya. I just got home. You finally gave up, huh? Well, take good care of him. I'm not taking care of him. What? I just came home today to talk. To mom. You've got to be kidding me. If you don't take care of him, I'll tell about the affair to your people at work. I told them about your threats, so they won't have a problem. You know I have pictures, right? I don't think they'll believe you when I tell them. Those pictures are from the days you were a stripper. They already know I used to be a stripper. You bitch. Don't think you're smart just because you got a head start. I'll make sure you'll be the one to take care of him. I'm moving overseas, so I can't take care of him anyways. Huh? I'm going to work overseas. You're lying, right? It's true. To be honest, I live a better life than you. Don't show yourself off. Toby made over $100,000 this year. There's no way you have a better life than me. That's less than my monthly income. What do you mean? I'm the president of the cosmetics company. By the way, my annual turnover is over $15 million. What? If you checked with the private investigation, couldn't you find out about that as well? It costs a lot of money to do a very detailed investigation, so... I could only do a quick check. So you didn't know I was the president. But how did you get to be the president of a popular cosmetics company? I used my knowledge of pharmacology to develop skin-friendly cosmetics, and it went viral. How could it be? There are products that can be used by people with allergies. The medical industry is paying attention to it, and there are even people overseas who use it. But how did you start your own business? You were kicked out after the divorce with no money. He didn't share the property, but I still had my savings. Plus, I had a friend who was willing to invest in the company. So the whole thing went smoothly. You knew someone like that? He's the guy in the picture that you have. This old man? He liked me since I was a stripper. He runs a medical equipment company. And he agreed with what I wanted to do and even invested in me. How can you be friends with someone like that? I was the most popular girl at the club in New York, you know? No way! You're ugly! People tend to think that in a club, the most beautiful person will become the best. But if you have good performance, you don't have to be very pretty to be the best. I don't understand. You don't have a bad face, but your skill is poor. And you've always been an unpopular stripper, right? How did you know that? I heard rumors about when you were a stripper. You never remembered your customers' faces and only talked about yourself. You never got chosen by anyone. That's... As a result, you were almost getting in your 30s and didn't even make it as a stripper. So, you took Toby away from me and got married, hoping to get rich. This was your plan, correct? Dad's retirement was coming up. So, I thought I had to get married soon. Toby was a doctor and had a good income. Oh boy, and when you were a stripper, you bought expensive clothes and jewelry, even though you couldn't afford them, so you've borrowed money, right? You even know about the debt? Mom told me. It seems like you borrowed $10,000 under Dad's name. 
Well, yes, but it's been almost five years since I borrowed the money, and you should have cleared the balance at this point. He hasn't paid a penny. Why not? Don't you remember asking him to pay for now? Because once you marry a rich guy, you'll pay him back fully? I do remember that. So that's why he should have paid on my behalf, right? But you got married to Toby right after you borrowed the money. So dad thought you became rich already, and you were going to pay back the debt. So that's why he didn't pay at all. I never heard about that. I mean, don't they usually send you reminders if you're behind on payments? I heard they did, but mom and dad said that you were the guarantor. So they thought the same letter should have been sent to you as well. That's why they ignored it. What? Moreover, I checked the mail at our house today and found a complaint from the court. Does that mean I'm going to court? You've been ignoring this debt for so long. Of course you're going to court. Give me a break. You and dad are so stupid. I'm ashamed to be related to you by blood. It's a little hard to pay $10,000 out of nowhere. Including delayed interest. It's almost double the amount. That much? That's how much you'd have to pay if you left it for almost five years. You deserve it. You should help me. You're my family. Even for family. The law says I can refuse to cover your debts. Which means I won't help you. Then I'll refuse too. The debt is under dad's name. You're the guarantor, aren't you? If that's the case, you're legally obligated to take over the debt. Okay, fine. I'll talk to Toby. He makes $100,000 a year, so I can manage. I don't know if you can count on that income from now on. Huh? What do you mean? I just overheard something. Hobby seems to be sued for medical issues. No way! Is he going to jail? I don't think he will go that far. But the patient seems to have after effect. He might be fine and suspended from medical practice. Does that mean he can't be a doctor anymore? I guess so. Why now? Damn! He wasn't very skilled as a doctor. Why did you marry such a man? He was very good with people. Everyone around him liked him. That's why I married him. I never imagined we'd part ways like this, though. I thought he was nice and good at talking, too, but... Well, because of his character, when you spread the fake story, everyone was on his side, and that hurt me a lot. But he hasn't made any mistakes until now, right? It's been two years since he got promoted. How can he make a medical mistake now? It is definitely some kind of mistake. Everyone liked him, so until now, he had some supports from them, which didn't make cases a big deal. Then why didn't they help him this time? When you become a professor, you won't have much support from others. When I heard about his promotion, I thought he might make a mistake soon, but I didn't expect it to be this big. Isn't it also important for a doctor to have good technique when they get promoted? Technique is important, but it also depends on relationships and luck, to be honest. He just happened to get promoted by luck, I guess. Oh god. But I'm glad we got divorced before anything serious happened. I guess I have you to thank for that. Once again, thank you. I'm sorry for everything, I'm sorry. So please help me. You're changing your attitude now? I don't have anyone I can rely on. My in-laws hate me too. Why do they hate you? They seem to like you. They couldn't forgive me for making you divorce and remarrying him without your permission. I thought I didn't have anyone on my side at that time. But Toby's father and mother trusted me. I feel a little better now. If I don't do anything, I won't be able to pay the rent for the house. I'll have to move out. I'll do whatever you say. So just help me. Then why don't you live with our parents? We own the house, so you won't have to pay the rent, right? Then I'd have to take care of Dad. You're a housewife. You do have the time, right? You can try. Please, at least give me some money. I can't help you. Well then, I'm busy. Now if you excuse me, goodbye. Toby was later ordered to stop his medical practice and fined due to the medical accident. In addition, he had to repay Stephanie's debt and his savings were almost gone. They were forced to live with our parents due to difficulties in making a living. Mom had been a housewife like my sister for many years, so she was selfish, and she said she did not want to take care of dad either. Hobby managed to find a job and started working, but his income was less than half of what it had been before. Plus, my sister started working a part-time job, but due to her bad character, she kept getting into trouble and had to move from job to job. 
which means her income was not stable. She was also busy taking care of dad. As for me, I am happy with my job overseas. It was a long road, but my sister, parent, and ex-husband have been punished, so I feel much better now.